Welcome back to HGTV Handmade with me, Meg. As a creative person, I am obsessed with design and I'm always going through images on Pinterest and design blogs. And I get so inspired that I wanna change up the look of a room like every single week. But that obviously gets super expensive. The easiest way to change the look of a space is by changing up the artwork. As a DIYer, I should be able to make my own artwork, right? But I am inspired by these beautiful, positive, inspirational images on Pinterest. So here are three different techniques to totally switch up the look of any space by making your own DIY wall art. Cut a circle out of cardstock. Center the outer portion of the circle over your canvas and tape it down. Write a word or statement in the center in paint pen. If it's a little extra drippy, dab it with a tissue and you can clean it up later with white paint. Round out any unfilled areas with a marker or thinner paint pen. Once your word is dry, place the inner circle in the exact center, tape it down, and remove the outer paper. Pour out your palette and grab a dry brush. Holding the paper down, create brush strokes that start atop the circle and move their way out. You'll want to get some excess paint on the paper before brushing it to get that faded look at the ends. I added each color around the circle in various spots, slowly building onto the design with each color. When your first coat dries, you can start layering colors and creating a really dynamic look. Move your tape and paint on the blank spots it left. Layer and layer until you feel you're done then carefully remove the tape and paper. I also did this with an equilateral triangle and a lighter complementary color palette. And voila! Geometric shape cutout typography art. Take a canvas, I'm even recycling one with an old pencil drawing on it. Paint most of the center gold or whatever color you want. I'm using one inch adhesive letters in Helvetica font for mine and spelling out good vibes only, but you do you. Bisect the center of your canvas with painter's tape and press it down to seal. Mark the exact center on the tape to help you with symmetrical placement. Spell out your statement in letters, pressing down each one to seal it as you go. When all letters are placed, flip the whole thing over and rub it down on the back to help adhere. Sponge on your first color, being careful to only press down from above atop your letters. You can be more free and loose on the canvas, but be careful not to let any paint get underneath your stickers. Layer on colors with your sponge, and then use a crunched up tissue or paper towel and add light layers on top. This is your world, your creation. There are no mistakes. When all of your paint is 100% dry, carefully peel off your letter stickers. You can even use the tip of a pin if you want. And voila! Good vibes only here, man. Bisect your canvas at a diagonal with tape. Press down to seal. Paint two thin, even coats on one side. Let dry. Remove the tape and tape over your paint to create a barrier for the second half. Paint it and let dry. Once fully dry, write out a message. You can use stencils if you are scared of your own handwriting, but you also can get some help from Marianne's calligraphy tips linked in the description below. And voila, DIY art piece number three. Which of these is your favorite and what phrase or word would you include in your artwork? Let us know in a comment below. If you like any of them, you know what I would not mind? I would not mind a thumbs up. 
I would not be mad at that one bit. Be sure to subscribe to HGTV Handmade for mad DIYs aplenty. Stay tuned on Wednesday for some dog DIYs that will save you some money. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you then.